time now for the ridiculous, and tonight we're adding a debate over Mike and Ike, who they are, why they're going their separate ways, and what message they're sending. And yeah, I'm talking about Mike and Ike, the candy, this candy. The name Mike is scribbled out on the box, it, right there. It was, uh, it was like that when we bought it, because it's part of a new marketing campaign that says, after 72 years, Mike and Ike are splitting up over creative differences. Now, the story goes that they can't agree on their ideas for the candy. Mike wants to pursue music, and Ike wants to be an artist. It's a clever marketing campaign that will include TV ads and billboards, and is already playing out on Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr. Global warming, economic confusion, and now the breakup of Mike and Ike. I mean, whatever next? So what when I heard the news, I was devastated. This is the last thing the markets need. All right, it's kind of clever, but there are those who see something else at play here. The president of the Family Research Council addressed it in a radio commentary. There's trouble in Candyland. After more than 70 years together, Mike and Ike are calling it quits. The duo is staging a gay divorce as part of a new ad campaign to draw in younger customers. It's just another subtle example of society chipping away at the value of marriage. And I don't know what's more disturbing, that advertisers think divorce appeals to kids,